year-old Michael Dunn. He's being charged with shooting and killing 17-year-old Jordan Davis. The confrontation began over loud music. Was there music playing in the car? Yes. What type of music? Rap. Lucy, how, how was it for you to be at the premiere of this film in Sundance and see, and after everything you've been through, see the trial there? It's really very surreal to see everything that we had gone through from beginning to end really brought to life on, on the screen. Of course, there were nuances about the film and there were things that happened in our lives at that time that I had kind of forgotten or maybe even really wanted to block out. And so to have that posed in front of you there and you're having to relive those things and remember those things, it is very painful to watch, but at the same time, though, it's also necessary. I think that the, um, the community, the Jacksonville community, initially just fell in love with Jordan. And then for Michael Dunn to be from out of town, he wasn't a Jacksonville native citizen, whatever, they felt that somebody came into their city, into their mm -hmm. town, and killed one of their own, and then left and tried to get away with it. Mm -hmm. So the whole town was in George's corner from the beginning, and I just felt that in my heart that it was great to have so many people caring for your child. What attracted you to this story? Um, I was interested in what you could say, what a large thing you could say about a uh, something that happened in such a short amount of time. So in these three and a half minutes, I saw this perfect storm of racial profiling, access to guns, and then these laws uh, that give you the confidence to use those guns. After being so close to the justice system, what are your thoughts on it? It was so apparent and evident that Michael Dunn was in the wrong. And why isn't the justice system working the way that it's supposed to work? Why do we have to fight? Why do we have to stand here and, and argue over the law working the way that it's supposed to work? That was very, uh, was, I was very disillusioned by that. Very disillusioned by that because that seems to be systemically what's happening for minorities around the country. The laws are not working for us. Had Michael Dunn been smart enough after the first shots, if he had been smart to sit in his car, dial 911, he would have got away with this. Gotten off. Because see, the main thing was that they said, you didn't dial 911. Mm -hmm. Then you saw the police across the street mm -hmm. and you didn't stop for the police. Mm -hmm. You did everything to get away because you knew you were guilty. Had you sat in the car, claimed your innocence, waited for the police to come and make a statement, Michael Dunn no. would be at home right now. Yeah. I guarantee you that. Soon after Brown's death, the hashtag if they gun me down went viral with folks slamming the mainstream media's stereotypical and predictable portrayal.